everybody. Welcome to another guitar lesson at String and Fretz Academy. So today we are looking at a song called The Little Things and this is uh, by Colby Kailat. So to help you learn this song, this is Preetam Tiwari here at String and Fretz Academy and I am going to be the guide, coach, mentor, tutor, friend. I am going to be the person who is going to help you learn the song on guitar today. So before we get started, uh, there are just a few reminders. The first one being, if you are someone who is new to guitar, if you want to learn guitar, not just new, if you have been wanting to learn guitar for a long time, but never found the right opportunity, right moment, right guide, right mentor, then what you can do is, if you want to connect with me to discuss any doubts or fears you might have, you're welcome to do that. You can book a call with me using the link in the description and we can connect and have a good chat so that I can help you get started into the world of guitar. And uh, if you have a favorite song for which I have not yet made a guitar lesson, uh, all that you have to do is type that song name in the comments. I'll be more than happy to make a video for your favorite song and upload it on the channel. And uh, if you are someone who is new to this channel, then you have to just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well, and there's a bell icon, turn it on so that you stay updated with all the uploads uh, that I'm doing. In fact, for the last more than 50 days, I, 52 days, I have been uploading one lesson every single day. So you can learn new, uh, you can learn really good songs on guitar on this channel every day. Okay, all right. So now we have all that out of the way. Let's get to the lesson for the song called Little Things by Colby. Now the version that we are going to learn today, uh, the guitar is in the standard tuning, but we have a capo on the fourth fret. So once we have this, once we have the capo on the fourth fret, uh, let's look at the chords used in the song. You need to know a B minor. And then you need to know a A. And then you need to know. So uh, I'll start over. The first chord was a B minor. Then you have a A. Then you have an F sharp minor. And then you have a G. Then we also need a D. And let me just confirm if we need any other chords. Okay, so we are good actually. Alright, so let's get to the strumming pattern. So let's get to the strumming pattern. The strumming pattern I use is something like So to break it down, what I'm doing is now, now, and the next one is kind of muted. My fingers are on the string, but they are not pressing them. So you get this muted sound. It's like down, down. While I'm switching to the next chord, I do that muted upstroke. Come to A. It's like. That would be the pattern. It's like down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The up is muted in between B minor and A. Down, down, up, down, up, down. minor and G, it's the same thing, like down, down on F sharp minor and then a mute upstroke as we are switching to G and then we land on G and then down, up, down, so it's uh, F sharp, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, on G. So this is the pattern. Uh, let's look at this pattern with the lyrics of the song. So 
when we look at this chord progression with the lyrics it should be something like Starts with the B minor on the little things you do to me. You do after you do, you can switch to it. The little things you do to me are taking me over. After R and taking me over, switch to F sharp minor. I wanna show you, I wanna show you, it's a G, and then everything inside of me. Same way, everything is B minor, switch to A for inside of me. Nervous heartbeat is crazy beating. Nervous heartbeat is crazy beating. My feet are stuck here against the pavement. Wanna break free? I wanna make it. Close your eyes and sleep before you pass me by. Closer to your eyes is, as you can see, it's the same four chords, and the lyrics keep on going with the same chord progression. I'm going to leave this in the description and you can refer to it. So once we come to the chorus, okay, now let's look at the chorus. I'm going to start from the last line of the previous verse and just let's understand how we go into the chorus. So the last line would be, uh, closer to your eyes, get your attention before you pass me by. Thing but back up, back up is D, D, and then take another chance is A, and then don't you mess up, mess up. I don't wanna lose you. Mess up, mess up is B minor. I don't wanna lose you is G. Wake up, wake up is D. This ain't anything that you is A. Give up, give up. Don't you say that I'll be B minor and B, and then better off is D. Better off. The second better off is A. Sleeping by myself is B minor and wondering if I'm better off is D again. The second better off is A. Without you is B minor. Boy is G. This is how it goes. So the most of the song, this is just the whole song. Uh, from here, the verse would remain the same progression. The chorus is the same. Uh, just that we have a small bridge in between. So the next verse is... And every time you notice me Calling me closely and saying sweet things I don't believe that it could be You speaking your mind and saying to me I feel so free and I'm leaving And I'm leaving, feeling lonely What's just a waste of time? So that's the next verse I missed a few words, but you sh you can look at it in the description, or you already know the song. So once again, after this, we go into the chorus, which is back up, back up, take another chance, don't you mess up, mess up. Don't you be B minor, B, F 
sharp minor. Hanging on. Repeat this twice. It's don't you hanging on. So that's the bridge. So once we complete the bridge, we come back to the same verse again, which is the little things you do to me. It's like the little things you do to me. Uh, after the bridge, you can actually start slowly, like the little things you do to me. just once which is don't you leave. you start with the D is A hanging on hanging on is F sharp minor and G you start with F sharp minor and then end with D and then come to the chorus again which is so back up back up take another chance don't you mess up mess up I don't lose you and then the next part which is wake up wake up this is the thing that you give up give up so this completes the guitar lesson for the song uh, little things by colby uh, before we end there is another small part which if you want to play you can it goes something like this like So this kind of, uh, this is how the song starts and it kind of keeps going in the background. You can play it uh, if you want to. It starts with the third string on the second fret from the capo. Alright, from the capo we are on the third string on the second fret. From here we do a slide from second to fourth. Second to fourth is a slide. And then we come to the second string on the third fret from the capo. Uh, play it once and then we return to the third string on the second fret like this. So it is pull, uh, put it together it should be like slide. All right, this is, and then. Play it twice. During the second time do the slide again and then. This is the second time it is slide same thing like the second string on the third fret third string on the second fret and then open the third string on the, the fourth string you play on the fourth fret once so put it all together it is If you want, you can play this as well, or you can just play the chords. That's just fine. So this completes the guitar lesson for the song Little Things by Colby. So before we end, uh, just a few reminders. If you are new to guitar, if you are someone who is just uh, wanting to learn guitar, or if you have been wanting to learn it for a few years or a few months, uh, you haven't found the right coach, mentor, right guidance, right direction or whatever it is that is stopping you you can book a call with me where we can have a good discussion during the call we can have a very good discussion and we can understand what is stopping you from learning guitar and i can help you learn it and you can start in uh, you know your progress towards playing your favorite song and if you have a favorite song for which i have not yet made a guitar lesson type that song name in the comments give me some time I will come up with a guitar lesson explaining how to play your favorite song. I'll be more than happy to do it uh, and I'll upload it on the channel. Also let me know if you have any memories associated with this song. When you listen to it, what comes to your mind? Uh, you can just let me know in the chat box. Uh, I'll just, uh, in the comments, I'll read it and uh, I'll see how you connect with the song. Okay, 
So that's about it. If you're new to String and Fritz Academy, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, turn on the bell icon and yeah, share it. Share it with your friends, colleagues, relatives, anyone. All right, anyone you know who wants to learn guitar. Okay. All right. So once again, this is the end of the video. Until we meet again in a new guitar lesson. This is Preetam Tiwari signing off. Take care. Stay happy. Keep strumming.